Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark Survival Evolved Mythological on the Panthalossa map. We're back, and it is the series finale. It's time to say farewell to the mythological series. And yes, I am holding my uh, taxidermy tool in my hand, and my hands are together. Love the way these mods work. Alrighty then, so we're going to have a farewell episode today, and... I originally was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for a farewell episode, and then I realized I have all the flags from the bosses that I did. I went back and got all their dermises. They're all right here, one by one, you know. I wish they changed the color of them depending on the boss, you know, so it doesn't matter if you beat an alpha boss or a gamma boss it only has one skin. It doesn't change with the difficulty, unfortunately, but it's okay. So I was... Uh, around here somewhere i think up there is where my uh little breeding thing is so i was running around on karen and then i just realized this like walkway from down there blah 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 and we landed up here and i'm like you know what this might be a nice place to build a little museum of of sorts of just the bosses i'm not going to do what i did in crystal forever and build it all you know build a giant museum with all my creatures and stuff since most of the creatures are modded anyway they're not going to work right and i was going to include the bosses that i've defeated um the colossus the empress queen thingamajiggy the yigsdrail um the ogre the wraith the demon the kraken but they're all modded creatures and they're just not going to look right when you try to do the um the dermis so yeah not gonna happen um karen has most of our supplies on her not everything i need though but she has a bunch of things i'm not sure if i want to do a square yet or a circle i'm still figuring that part out let me add my oops i know i didn't need to do that on my own um there we drink some water okay so yeah i'm gonna figure out how exactly i want to do this and i will be bringing you guys back remotely you know um here and there just so you can get a glimpse of what i'm doing um put oh wait, yeah that'll do that oops wrong one so how will this look So we could definitely do something like that. Unfortunately, there's only a, like, I can't build right here. Oh, it's going to, oh, it's going to be darker in the, um, when it uploads to YouTube. Because right now it's so bright, I can barely see the red on my screen. But yeah, see, you can't build right here. I have to kind of move. Can I build right here already? Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Eh, I guess I'll just build it in the grass. I think that'll just make it kind of look nice. Um, again, I'm not sure yet if I want to do a circle or a square, whatever. You know, I'm just going with it for now. And I think that's it. Okay. All right. I have an idea of what I'm going to do then. So. Oh, is that? Oh, it's not going to be lined up anymore, is it? Ah, oh, crap. I was hoping I could get at least over to this edge. Let's see. No, because then it doesn't. F an arc. Yeah, now it's not really lined up the way I wanted it to be. It's like perfectly up against the dirt and the um. Okay, uh, maybe not perfectly, almost. Some are closer than the rest. All right, all right, no big deal. We shall figure this out. Hope everybody did enjoy this series. It was a lot different than my other series. Um, episode wise, it was one of my. It was the longest one I did up to now. But time wise, it wasn't as uh, Crystal Forever. Sorry, as um, Frozen Alive and Condemned were both very long. I know I kind of overdid it on some of those, but you learn, so no big deal. Alrighty then. So I'm gonna get to work on this. I'll bring you guys back in bits and pieces so you can check it all out. Alrighty then. We're back. Just making sure I had infinite stats off. So, so far, this is what we got. We laid out the triangle foundations first. Kind of lined up a little bit better. Mm, you know, this is just a farewell thing. It's not like it's going to stay here permanently. But it's okay. It's going so far so good for me. So, yeah. I wanted to do um, a circle with these. Oh, let me do you know, one of these. Oops. Not like that, obviously. Like that. And then put the base on top of it, but I kind of can't since I already used... Uh, I could make a floating one, probably, but I think this still looks cool. Oh, I can't even get up there. 
Oh wow, those things are tall. Yeah, I kind of feel like the platform would have been, looked a little bit better right here. Um, let me see real quick. So... I might have to figure out how to get it on there. No. Uh, change base to metal. Oh, never mind. Ugh. Yeah, never mind. Mm. It doesn't look good when you change it to metal. Change base to tech. Does that look good? No. Okay, never mind. I had the right idea the first time then. Yeah, it looks... I would have to change the scale of the... No, you can't do that. Uh, pick up. Pick you up. Yeah, okay. So... No big deal. Uh, give me my gun. Okay, seriously. Shut up, Karen. Doesn't everybody always just want to say that? Shut up, Karen. All right, so probably yeah, it was gonna be her, then the um, the Megapithecus, the Ma dragon, and then the Manticore. Even though that's not the order I beat them in, but it's the um, order of the releases and stuff. Plus, it just looks better when the three originals are next to each other, and then you have the Manticore last. Um, and then I'm going to build up walls, obviously, and I'm going to engulf this in glass like I did in Crystal Forever. For anyone who has watched that series, please do check out that series. I actually think it's pretty decent, except for episode three because it's really long and I apologize. So, yeah. Um, we will continue working on this. i got to figure out what I want to do here in the front. I usually do this a little bit different. I'm going to see. I got a, I got an idea of what I kind of might want to do instead. But, yeah. All right. I shall bring you guys back with an update in just a little bit. Hang on to your seats, everyone, because this is the last. Wow, I got a ton of um, element from killing those bosses. This is the last time we're going to be on here. It's going to be a farewell to Panthalos. It's been a great map. It's been a great run. But, yeah. I shall bring you guys back momentarily. Alrighty then, we are back. I had to bring Beast over here to help us out a bit. So this is the progress so far. So the Broodmother's done. So we have the the, um, the trophy up top, the Dermis, a little grave with Broodmother written in, and then I added some tech lights just to make it look a little nice, and then the glass. Sorry about that, I had a phone call and it ended up being spam, as I was saying. So, we put the tech lights in there, made the glass, you know, trans made it look a little bit of transparent, and then I painted this black because the light was bouncing off the silver too much, giving it, a, as you see, like right there, it's kind of giving it like a glare. So I wanted to fix that real quick, and then we started working on the, oh, and I made the, um, I made these bases, uh, the taxidermy base, taxidermy base, uh, tech, just because it kind of looks cool with it. I feel like it gives it a little bit more of a, like, pop than the um, traditional, than the metal did. And I still have to extend this a little bit more because it's getting a little tight over here. But yeah, this is the progress. Um, I don't know which model I'm going to stick with for the Megapithecus. Maybe that one. Actually, no, that might leave that one. That one looks pretty cool. Oh, and then a dragon's going to need room, and so is the manticore. I don't even know if I have this spaced out correctly yet. Um, let's find out. Alright, this is where it's a pain, because I'm not exactly... It's I don't want it to snap into place. I'm trying... Come on. Come on. There we go. Got it. Okay. Yep, I got it. Um, put that away. No. There. Okay. All right, let's do a little bit of this actually on camera. So we have to go make some uh, shards till we could power everything with those lights. Okay, Dermis. Yeah, they don't. Re yeah. Mm. The only reason I'm using the SS version is because you can make them bigger. But I'm noticing issues already. Ugh, his freaking tail. I kind of forgot about that. No. All right. Let's see. What do we got? That's probably the one I wanted to go with, but it's gonna stick. He's gonna stick out. Hmm. Forgot how big the dragon is. 
No, I'm gonna stick with these, even though it's not like perf. You know, with mods, things get messed up. Um, change the base to tech. Yeah, he's not like really in the center the way I would want him to be, but it's okay. Whatever. So we we'll just make a nice. Oh wait, no, his his tail is not gonna stick out because it goes all the way to the end of the wall. Oh, okay, so now I just gotta figure out if I can get his wings in there. I'll figure it out, it's no big deal. But yeah, just little bits here and there. Um, I mean, since, I already, since I'm already in the middle of it, why not try to not have this snap in? The struggles of arc. Got it. Okay, and where are you, Manticore? Oh, right there. Okay, let's scale you to 1.5, change your base to tech, and, oh, your tail is like literally going through it, okay. Okay, that might work. Yeah, I might just use that one, the pose, no, not that, <laughs> no. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one. That looks cool, okay. So, still got a little bit of work to do, but all good. It's going well. Um, let's see. No, those are just metal. Large metal walls. Karen, what do you have on you? Aha, you have all the good stuff. All right. Take all this for me for now. Oh, I need to go make more tech lights. I'll do that in a sec. All right. That should be good for now. And then... So all we gotta do... Oh wait, did I even... I am so confused now. Wait a minute, I think I screwed something up. Yeah, I did. Okay, I actually need to shift this over so they share the glass. Ugh. Okay. That's where I messed up. Wonderful. So, give me a few. Give me a few of these. I knew. I knew I screwed something up because it looked weird. Yeah. Okay. So, there. There. Wait. Is that? Oh. Okay. So now we have to take you out. Put you there. Pick this up. One, two, three, four, and then. Oh, yeah, because I've. Oh, yeah, I'm like, wait, what just happened? <laughs> wait. Now I'm confused again. Crap. <laughs> Do I want them sharing it or not? Uh, I gotta figure this out. I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Alrighty then, we're back. We're doing the ceiling right now. And it's not... It's latching into the wrong slot. I think. Hold on. Is it supposed to be this high up? I always forget. Oh, we'll see you in a little bit. I think I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna have enough crap. No, I'm gonna be short. Dang. Oh well, I'm gonna have to go back. Craft some more, no big deal. Oh wait, no, I think I just have enough. Sweet. Awesome. Alright, now we grab our transparent. Yeah, this one. Copy what we already put here, and then just start running and shooting. This gives each one of them. That like shaded look, as you guys see. Okay. And one more. Okay, and now let's go to the model gun, which is right there. And that'll make it seamless. Oh, I missed one. Dang. Uh, transparency. Thank you. Okay. And where's my model gun again? Model selector. 
Oh, man. Ever since the SS mod updated with all these, you know, with that gun wheel, it's so much easier versus freaking making one of every type of gun you need to use and then keeping one here, one there, one here, one there. So, alright. Let's grab Beast. Okay. So that's the basis of how it's gonna look. Hers is really red, though. So then... Yep, and then we got Megapithecus. Dragon. And Manticore. And... What the F? Done. Oh, um, wrong one. Uh, where is it? No, transparent. There we go. I missed a spot. There we go. That looks better. Okay. Nah. I'm not sure. I might actually paint this too, just to give it a little different color. The lights look good though. And then we still got to make the ceiling. Yeah, see, like how this reflects off of here. Uh, doesn't look too bad, but I could just make those walls black also. Yeah, I might actually do that. Just make these side walls black. Sucks you can't, um, what's the word I'm looking for? set all of them it sucks that you you can't do one side and then the other side a different color yeah yeah oh, well it, just to keep the light from reflecting as much this I'm this I'm gonna paint a different color I don't know what color yet but I'll figure it out oh, come on I think beast has the dye on him Thank you. And then hold this. Since I don't remember the regions, I'm just gonna put all of them. Uh, I guess I should do those back parts black also, actually. Why not? Come on. So much easier than the freaking paintbrush. Oh. Those got painted black also. Okay. No, it wasn't, they weren't supposed to. Yeah, this is gonna be... I gotta change the color on that one. Oh. Oh, melee attack. Oh, I didn't... Wow, I haven't used that thing in a while. Yeah, it actually looks good with the black. Okay, cool. Alrighty then. I'm not sure what color I'm going to paint this whole thing yet, but I'll figure it out. So I will bring you guys back once again in a little bit. We're almost done. And this is just our farewell to this awesome series. I had a lot of fun with. But yeah, that's just going to be it here. I will bring you guys back in a little bit when this is completed. Well, more or less. Alrighty then, we are back. It is finally complete, and let's take a look. So this is... Let's take Beast. So this is our little farewell treat to Panthalassa and the bosses we did. I painted it red since all the bosses were alpha, even though I can't, you know, get the creature's dermises to be red. So that was the best I could do. Um, and I put glass up here so you, it's a little transparent. You can see through it, you know. Same thing as everything else that's in this inside. The glass just has a slight tint to it. And I did want to make this walkway a lot longer, but it cuts off somewhere around here, and it says you can't build anymore. I was hoping to get it all the way to here, so that when you come up this ramp, the first thing you see is that, but I couldn't get it done. So, there's limitations, and then, you know, the black just is to cover up the lights. And then, let's walk in. Now it'll close behind us. And there we have it. So you have the manticore. 
you have the dragon, he looks awesome, the megapithecus looks awesome, and the broodmother, she looks crappy. And I painted this like a slate color, just to um, change it up a little bit, and there's a little bit of slate in the door, the gateway, and the door, and the gate, um, for anybody who really does care. So see, that's like slate right there, and then these pipes, even or handles, even though they look black, they're actually slate. Um, and then I just kept bouncing it off a little bit of red there, red up top, you know, try to balance it out as best I could. Um, and slate right here as well. But yeah, it came out pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with this. Um, well, oh, of course it has to rain. Uh, sorry about that. I had another phone call. So, no, let's just do like a nice little aerial view. Very happy with that. Alright, and let's just go around real quick. The leftover creatures that are here, the Cadaverics, the Rahambe, the Soul of the Second Lieutenant, more Cadaverics, my Dodo S. That's how we keep calling it. Yep, I'm stuck. The Dodo S. Um, down here, I'm just gonna say goodbye to everything since we're never coming back. Oh, man. What a series. It was great. It just sucks. Um, I had The series had to be slowed down because I was in the middle of re renovating a home me and my lady purchased and then moving in and everything like that. So One day at a time, though, some of the Souls of the King. Say goodbye to you guys. The, more of the Rahambe army that I never really used. The, um, the, soul, the soul of the Second Lieutenant army. The amazing Mega, uh, I mean, um, Rahambe, Solo the King, and the Dodo Rex Unleashed mod army right there. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go. Uh, let's go home first. Uh, I'm not gonna go to the motor pen. I don't wanna go underwater. That's the point. Alright. So we have everybody here. Why? Why do you have to be a pain? Land your dumb over here. And don't move, okay? Let's try that. Let's try that! Alright, so our original two Dodorexes that we tamed up. All the Saber... Saberian people? Never really did much with them. The Glacier Golem from, I think, episode 18 that has literally just been standing there this entire time. The Dodos that gave me great eggs for Kibble. Um... Our Iguanodon, we got him early on. Tigerhorn, I remember getting you. I think that was like episode... Oh, I want to say four, maybe? Red Ripper is one of our many Cadaverics. Food. So, King and Queen, all the Origin Dragons. Oh crap, that's actually a wild one. Yeah, that's a wild Dodorex. Do not want to get near that. Alright, what do we have here? More Origin Manticores, more Cadaverics. Um, somewhere in here is Big Vicious. There it is. Big Vicious, our original Cadaverics. I believe we got her in Episode 7. Um, I think I, I think the Chimera is in here somewhere too. Yep, there's the Chimera. I believe that was episode 8. The Chimera, I never did anything with it. Whatever. Um, oh, no, my guys get out. Jump. Run across the dinos. Jump. Okay. All our flags. Yeah, no. I was just thinking I should have probably put those flags in front of the, um, in front of the, uh, each one of the graves, but nah, that doesn't make sense. It's better the way it is. Come on, you. Come on, you. Get up. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Later, dude. Get away from my base. You got, you killed a whole army of mine in episode 9 or 10, somewhere around there. Alright, say goodbye to all of these guys. Oh, 
our Water Wyvern, which was awesome, our Brute Wyvern, and Dragon Rex, which both sucked. They were my worst teams ever. The Dodo, the two Dodo S's I got earlier on. Oh, oh actually, no, I'm not gonna teleport there. I'll just fly. East pretty fast. Let's go say goodbye to the Cadaveric army. That um. Uh, well, my third Cadaveric's army, I should say, because the first one got killed by the Dodo Rex. The second one, I lost during the dragon fight because the game crashed. And yeah, that's it. Just say goodbye to them real quick. They're right there. You guys did great work. You took down the dragon, which is no easy feat. I'm proud of all of you. Um, let's head over to the blue obelisk real quick. Okay. Just a few more creatures, some more, um... Oh, Mega and Destroyer were the first two offspring from King and Queen. And the Dodo, those are the first, the first two Dodo S's I found. Yep. So... I think that's gonna be it guys um, I had a lot of fun with this series it was interesting um, quite a, some up and downs you know if any other series there's always gonna be ups and downs uh, let's just go get Karen I have to upload her back into the obelisk actually here cuz she's coming with me in case I ever need a Uteranus for another series Oh, wait, I could have just teleported you. Yeah, because you have all this crap on you. Alright. Oh. Pick you up. Um. Oh, wait, no, I can't pick you up. Yeah, screw it. I'll, I'll get rid of you later. Oh, come here, you. Go away. There. Alright, so we'll just say goodbye here with Karen and Beast. So. Alrighty. Oop. There we go. Alrighty then. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this series. As usual with ARC series, I take a week off, replenish, get some fresh ideas, and I will be starting my next series in a week from when this uh, releases. Um, hopefully I'll be able to soon get back to two releases a week. Um, just, you know, things in life still just, you know, working the kinks out of the new living situation, but it's all good. Actually, come on, Karen. Yeah, there we go. Kind of wanted her to look at me. There we go. Well, hope everybody enjoyed this series. Mythological is finished. Goodbye to Panthalassa. Goodbye to the Mythos mod, to the Dragon Punk uh, Mythical Creatures mod, I believe. The Shadlow's Tamable Mosses mod was amazing. I had a lot of fun with that. But that is all for now. P please do like, share, subscribe. Check out my Instagram for a better look at all the thumbnails I provide for you fine people. Uh, that's all I can really say. Can't wait to catch you guys in the next series, but that is all for now. Until next time, everyone. Take care.